Okay, we've got Kaylin. Yeah, sorry there about that. <laughs> no worries. All right, so you guys, can you give us a yes? Give us a thumbs up if you can see and hear both me and Kaylin. So this is Kaylin. Um, everyone say welcome. Everyone say hello. She's super, super awesome. She's super um, excited to be here, and we're excited to have her. Like, I just can't even express how excited I am and how grateful I am to have you on here with us tonight. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, I'm excited. Awesome. So due to technical reasons, we are both on our iPhones. So that's going to be fun, you guys. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be cool. And we're going to have a super fun time tonight. All right. So just so you guys know how this is going to work, Kaylin's going to tell us a little bit about herself. She's going to introduce herself. Then we're going to go into kind of like the bot stuff, like how she was able to get these freaking amazing results, like so that we can all do that ourselves. And then if you guys have questions at any point, drop them in the comments. And if they're relevant, we'll do our best to answer them right away. And then if not, we'll come back to them uh, later. Sound good, you guys? All right, awesome. I'm going to give all these guys a like. Okay, so Kaylin, why don't you tell us a little bit about, you know, who you are, what you're all about, and yeah, a little bit about you. Sure. So uh, I've been in the internet marketing business for about two years now. Um, just kind of been dabbling around in a bunch of industries and found ClickFunnels, love ClickFunnels. Like it's, you know, a great software for all of us internet marketers. Um, and then obviously found, uh, found ManyChat, which is um, a great tool. So I've been kind of dabbling around in different industries, um, in the beauty industry, um, fishing industry, in uh, the lead generation industry. So kind of all over the place, just kind of having fun with it all. And, um, and so now I'm kind of just uh, doing some consulting work and building funnels for people because I love building funnels. It's just such a passion of mine. So um, that's kind of, you know, I've been two years of learning ClickFunnels, um, you know, pulling my hair out, trying to make it work. And so, yeah, that's a little bit about myself. <laughs> that's awesome. So you said you've, you've had like a, been in a variety of industries and kind of have a, a wide range of like background skills. That's really cool. Yeah, definitely. So how did you like... How did you kind of get started in the marketing world? And sorry, I'm shaking the camera a lot. I'll try to stop. <laughs> so I used to be an accountant and um, terrible work. Wouldn't advise it for anybody. But uh, my <laughs> my boyfriend. My mom's an accountant. So oh, there you go. I, I hear you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My boyfriend has been dabbling in the internet marketing business for probably six years. So he kind of got me um, involved and I kind of watched what he did. And it was super exciting. It was super fun stuff. So I wanted to try it out myself, so I kind of joined him and learned as much as I could, and, and I love it. It's great. That's awesome. All right, we've got a couple people. Dale says no sound. It sounds like most people can hear us, Dale, so you might want to check on your sound. It sounds like if everyone else can hear us, go ahead and say yes. Um, it kind of sounds like people are responding in the comments, so I think everyone can hear us. But... Um, if you can't, then go ahead and double check everything. Um, awesome. Yeah. So I think it's really interesting because I feel like a lot of people get into internet marketing kind of just because, um, like, not really intending to. They're just kind of like, oh, like, that looks like it could be cool. Mm -hmm. It could be fun. Um, yeah, no, exactly. Cool. Everyone says it sounds working. So, um, and then Cindy, thank you for that. Cindy says, refresh your Facebook app. All right. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> um, Awesome. So why don't you tell us a little bit about like kind of what business you were working on when you or like, I guess what business, what offer, or whatever it is that you started using bots for, like what, what attracted you to them? Yeah. So uh, one of my, one of my companies and one of my Facebook pages that I did was uh, it's called Bass Casters and it's in the fishing industry. Okay. And uh, um, so you know, I have all these hardcore fishermen who love fishing. They love their fishing gear. They, you know, they're, they're super diehard fans of fishing. They'll, they, they just completely love it. So um, <laughs> my, my biggest thing is, you know, I built my Facebook page to 100,000 followers in within, I think it was like 32 days or something. So it was, wow. a, yeah, it was a fast growth and, um, and I wanted to leverage it somehow. So I, uh, I noticed that obviously giveaway posts do awesome. Everybody loves free stuff. So mm -hmm. I did two giveaway posts that, um, I, that okay. I 
put to my page and um, I can actually show you. I'll have them here so you can kind of see what Oh, I'm... that's awesome. Yeah, I was going to see. I, want... I, can... I was going to see if we could figure out a way to do that like while you're on. Yeah, I can just switch my iPhone, camera. But... There we go. So. Oh, this sweet. Is... Okay. This is one of the, one... this is the first Royal post fan. that I did. Yeah, so pretty much just tell okay, us where awesome. you're from and then three random comments will win a free t-shirt. So of this post, there okay, was cool. 4,600 comments. So all of those people would have got my, uh, oh. yeah, would have got my, uh, would have got my, um, my opt-in message from my, from bot. my bot. Yeah, from my bot. And majority of them uh -huh. obviously wanted to opt-in because they want this free t-shirt. So give it, giveaways really work if you know your audience and you know what they'll engage with, right? So that was the first one that yeah. I did, and that was kind of the mini one, but this is the big one that um, went crazy, is um, it was a free giveaway for these um, combos, fishing combos. And so these okay. are these are really hot. In so the, what is that? Uh, it's a fishing rod. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, so this, oh, I couldn't see the image on the top. Yeah, was like, what the heck? There's two different images, the orange and the green. But um, this, okay. one, this one got 86... 8,600 comments and like 10,000 shares. It um, it went crazy, and I and I know it went and I knew it would go crazy because I know that people in my industry love these love these combos, love these fishing rods. So I think that's that's mm -hmm. key is just trying to figure out what how to get engagement, and then um, and then putting like a giveaway post of some sort. So for this one, I also said comment where you are from. So both of them the same thing, comment where you are from, and then the uh, the messenger bot okay. would would opt them in that's amazing seriously like and it, the cool part is like you obviously got the strategy down and you were able to replicate it like again so quickly yeah oh yeah like they were posted um the day a day between so one was posted one day and then the next day I posted the other one and people were just going crazy for it so um that's yeah. insane yeah no was good that's so cool. So can you tell me a little bit about the strategy as far as like kind of what you were thinking when about like how to craft a post versus what you were going to like how to craft the actual like post that you were going to make on your page versus kind of like the long term, I guess, strategy of what you were going to do like once you've got these people all excited and opted in? Yeah, so obviously... Um you know, I know that these people are diehard fishermen and, and they'll, they'll, they buy, they're like addicted to buying fishing gear. So getting all these people onto a bot, you can, you know, send them offers. You can, you can just have them there just to kind of communicate with. And I find that since I was doing a giveaway, when they opted in, they already have an, uh, they already have a positive view of you because you're giving them something for free. It's like, a, you know, it's like playing the lottery. They, they love you. They want, they want to right. be a part of your, of your messenger. And so they, they, appreciate getting messages from you. So I think that's what's nice about giveaways is it kind of gives a nice positive feel to, um, mm. to the people opting in. Right. And then another thing that I wanted to ask was I noticed they got like a ton of shares, right? So did you, what specific instructions did you give people in order to be able to enter the giveaway? Like, did you tell them like you have to share this in order to enter or something like that? So for the first one, no. And the first one only got 200 shares. Um, but the second one, yeah, okay. it said share this post and then uh, comment below where you, where you're from. And then those were the two things to enter the giveaway. So that's okay. why, that's why there's so many shares, but also, I mean, like if they're sharing it because it's a cool image, it looks cool, you know, they want their friends involved with the giveaway. So I think that's important as well, just having a, a well put together image or giveaway. And so that people can engage mm -hmm. with it. They want to engage with it. They want to share it. They want to be involved with it. It's really important. Right. So it's all about making it actually be something that they're going to care about and something that they want to share out with their whole network. Because yeah. when you share something on your wall, it's like, it's kind of a reflection of like you and like what you stand for a little bit, right? Yeah, exactly. Yep. People don't want to be sharing like stupid stuff. <laughs> yeah, or like an ugly image or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Like if the image is like subpar, it's like they're going to be like, I don't really want to show this on my wall. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, that's awesome. So as far as like 
what kind of what kind of different products do you sell? Like, do you have a range of products, or do you have just like one or two core things, or yes. how does that work? So I so for bass casters, we do drop sh- we do drop shipping. We have them um, from AliExpress. We also have a supplier okay. uh, in the U.S. where we kind of do drop shipping as well, um, and we do it through Shopify. So we have a Shopify store. Um, so for the many chat. Like, we would do, um, like, we've done broadcasts of, hey, you know, um, this is the, this is rated the best fishing uh, gift this year. Check it out here. You know, stuff like that. We'll send them to either a funnel or we'll send them to our store. Um, you know, just kind of testing things okay. like that. So, yeah, just selling. Uh, we also sell fishing t-shirts. It's kind of a hot thing right now. So, yeah, we have, we have a variety of things that we sell. Okay. That's awesome. So we've got a couple questions coming in. Uh, I want to see if we can get some of these answered. So Harmony says, what are the expenses on these giveaways? So like maybe, Harmony, do you mean maybe like as far as ads and like the product that she's giving away maybe? Can you maybe talk a little little about about that, Kaylin? Yeah, so these two giveaways were completely free. I just posted it to my page um, and my followers just went crazy over it. So no ads. <laughs> That's spend. insane. I mean, like the T-shirts, the three T-shirts I gave away maybe costed thirty dollars, and the um, combo cost me maybe a hundred and thirty dollars. So not not too bad to get okay. to get ten thousand subscribers. Yeah, to get ten thousand subscribers, like two hundred bucks is like absolutely <laughs> no brainer. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. And then Rita, we've got Rita here. She says. The CGT, I assume you mean the comment growth tool, Rita. It doesn't work on shares. Or are you using the JSON feature? Yeah, so... So I guess she's asking more about, like, the type of bot. Yeah, so I use the uh, the comment feature. And, yeah, it doesn't work on shares, but that's why I told them to comment. So a lot of the 10,000 shares would have been... They would have commented anyway. So I was using the comment tool, and then I just had a one follow-up... Um, uh, opt-in message that I sent. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. And then Cyrus says, awesome. Thank you for clarifying that. <laughs> um, and then we've got Cyrus. It says Facebook penalizes posts that ask for shares or likes now. Careful. Yeah. Okay. So have you heard about that? Cause I've heard about that too lately. I have, I don't know if that's a, is that a new thing? Like I've, I don't know. I feel like I heard about it like three weeks ago ish. Yeah, so, it was like right before the holiday season. Right. I I mean, you can always test it out. I, I've been doing these type of giveaways for a while, um, and I haven't been penalized for it. But, yeah, I mean, definitely if you're going, going to do a giveaway, obviously stay within the, um, the boundaries of what Facebook is giving you. You don't want to get shut down or your page shut down or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you, though. Yeah, I know it's it's a it's a weird gray area because I've been hearing a lot of people saying like, yeah, you know, you know, if you ask for comments, then like maybe they'll even penalize you for that. So I think a lot of people are just like are not really a hundred percent sure, and they're also not really sure to the extent of how much they're gonna like penalize you. Yeah. Because sure, maybe they'll penalize you, but there's no you don't know what I guess real way to tell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like <laughs> how much it's actually gonna hurt. Yeah, exactly. Um. Cool. So Corinne says, let's see. Corinne says, can you expand on how you got a hundred? Oh, that's a great question. I was wondering that too, Corinne. So Corinne says, can you expand on how you got 100,000 followers to your page so quickly? Yeah. That's really, really amazing too. Yeah. So, I mean, it's basically just really understanding your audience and finding out how to get engaging posts, right? So I think a lot of people on Facebook, they struggle with what to post they're usually posting what they want to post, what they think that their followers are going to want to see, but it's really, you have to go off what they're engaging with. So I just studied the market. I studied other big pages in fishing and saw who got um, high engagement with their posts and I would kind of mimic what they posted. Okay. So just, um, yeah, mimic what they posted. I also joined a bunch of fishing groups and um, made sure it was okay if I could promote the page. And so I would promote my page. Hey, go look this, go like this page or, you know, we're doing a giveaway, um, stuff like that. So, um, 
giveaways are great for building your audience at the beginning because obviously they bring people. And then once you have that audience, you can just do engaging posts so that they stay engaged and that they share. They, you know, get, you get more people coming in. Right. Okay, cool. So it sounds like you kind of did like a funnel hacking type thing only for Facebook pages. So you like, you just followed the pages that were working really well in your niche and in your industry. And then you kind of modeled what they were doing as far as posting, right? Yeah, exactly. Like there's, um, there's Bass, I, everybody knows what Bass Pro Shops is. Um, you know, their Facebook, <laughs> their Facebook page has 3.2 million followers, but they only get like one like on their, on their post or they get, you know, three shares, you know, they're not, they're not, they're not mm -hmm. utilizing what they have. So you have to find the people that get true engagement, uh, thousands and thousands of shares. Like I have a post on my page that got um, 279,000 shares, 14 million views. So it's just figuring out, wow. it's figuring out what people engage with. And what? yeah, that was my biggest post. That is post. insane. Yeah. So that's, so that's that was a video then? Yeah, it was a video. It was a fishing video. And I noticed that like I do a lot of memes and fishing videos and fishing videos will bring in the likes, but the memes will bring in the engagement. So you kind of have to do a mix, a mix of both, whatever your niche is, kind of just, you know, a mix of whatever you're going to be doing. Okay, that's interesting. See, like, I don't even do a whole lot of like, Facebook page stuff. So I'm like learning a ton right now. I hope you guys if you guys are liking this, by the way, go ahead and give us a big thumbs up a big heart and give us like a yes. And tell us that you guys are excited because I am learning like a freaking ton right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then let's see, we've got another couple questions. Oh, so Carlin says, yeah, rolled out three weeks ago about the Facebook comment, like, or yeah, the, that new rule with like asking for shares and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and let's see, we've got Neil says, can you show us how this is set up? Yeah, Neil, we'll we'll help you out, um, figure out figuring out how to set this up, um, like in the group or something like that. But it's not really something that we can do right now in the interview. Um, if you don't really have Jackie, okay, Jackie says if you don't really have a major audience, um, do you do giveaways to pages or groups? Not one hundred percent sure what you mean. Like, maybe do you mean like doing giveaways to other groups? I think how, I don't know if that's I, think, I don't know if that would be really cool in a group. I think it? how I perceive that question would be if you don't have a lot of Facebook page likes, do you post the giveaway on your page or do you post it in a group? Oh, yeah. Is what I'm assuming she means. And I would say post it on your page, but go into groups to get people to your page. So you want to bring all the people to your page, tell them to like your page, you know, put little things at the end of your videos or wherever, just to, you know, anywhere you can just say, you know, Hey, like my page and you know, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. That's a good strategy. I think I'm probably going to steal that one. Um, <laughs> let's see. Let's see, can you give an overview of what the, um, yeah, Mike says he's new to messenger bots. Mike, um, go ahead and we'll, we'll, we'll help you out. Get, we'll help you get started in the group later on. Um, so yeah, thanks for that. Um, Kaylin, is there anything else that you would recommend as far as like how you, um, I don't know, like just things that you think about when you're, you know, like growing your page, growing your Oh, there you are. Oh, okay. I think it's not frozen anymore. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So, so anything you want to go ahead and, and share. just go for it. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I think the biggest thing is obviously engagement. You know, if you're going to be doing organic posts, um, you need to have the engagement and you need to have, um, obviously, yeah, you need to have the engagement or else nobody's going to like or comment on your, on your posts. So really focusing on how to get engagement, you know, find people, find pages in your niche, whatever it is, and find who's, don't find the people with the, with the most likes on the page, but find the people that are getting the engagement on their posts. So a tool I use is the, um, in the insights, you can go down to pages to watch and you can watch pages. You can put in whatever pages you want in your niche. I'm sure people know about this, but you, and then you can see how much engagement they're getting per week. So you can kind of judge yourself and, and, and base yourself off of the people that are getting high engagement and you can kind of see what they're doing 
mimic what they're posting, get the engagement, build your audience that way um, by obviously posting what people want to see, what people engage with, and then um, and then uh, and then you'll be able to do giveaway posts where they'll go viral because people, you know, your edge rank will be high, and people will want to engage with your post. So I think that's that's key is to keep that in mind. Okay, awesome, awesome. And another question, like, well, as you were saying that, I started to wonder, do you ever do any types of posts where, um, and like, not not talking paid ads, but do you ever do any sort of posts where you're actually like selling your products or something or giving people like deals on like actual products other than just straight engagement posts? Oh yeah, definitely. So I have, um, you know, I've done video offers of like a cool product that has a cool video. And so I'd put like, I got, I think I got like a couple of them that had like a million views on a, on an offer. It was like this fishing hook video, but uh, you know, it, it was a, it was okay. a cool video that people in my niche liked. So people shared it, they wanted it, they loved it. So, um, you know, things like that, or, you know, you can post, I post t-shirt pictures often. Um, yeah. So it's, it's, they obviously don't get that much engagement, but you can find ways to get the most engagement out of those type of posts when you're trying to sell something. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like adding a link later on, not at the beginning. So Facebook doesn't think that you're just trying to, you know, bring people off of Facebook. Things like that um, really work well with Facebook and when you're trying to advertise something. So things like that is just, uh, you know, posting your offer, but not making it look like an offer, obviously, making it look like a fun, engaging post. Okay, cool. Yeah, I actually had never even thought about that because sometimes you do see people like just paste the link right at the top and then it is kind of off-putting, but I didn't yeah. realize that like Facebook's algorithm or something like had like took notice of that. Oh yeah, like I noticed when I when I try to post a, a post with a link in it right away, it my engagement is is bad, like you don't get any engagement, but um but when you if you wait a little bit, get a, you know, maybe maybe get like 100 shares or 50 shares, then you post a link, you kind of have that momentum already so that, you know, Facebook can kind of limit your engagement or limit your uh, reach, but not, not to the, not to the same extent. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and so I had a, I had another question that I wrote down that I wanted to ask, make sure and ask you, but for anyone watching right now, go ahead. And if you have other questions, go ahead and post them down in the comments right now. Um, but Caitlin, I wanted to ask you what, I guess, like, have you noticed a difference or maybe, I don't know, maybe you're not, you know, doing both of these concurrently to get bot subscribers, but when it comes to, like, paid ads versus organic um, page engagement, do you notice, like, a big difference or maybe, or is there a strategy that you have um, to kind of differentiate, okay, like, if I'm going to try and grow my bot subscriber base, am I going to be doing organic posts or, like, paid ads or do you have any... Thoughts about that? I think um, I think they kind of go hand in hand. Like if you, if I have, if if some if a post or an ad that I'm thinking of, if I post it to my page and it doesn't get that organic engagement, I wouldn't post it as an ad because you cut you want that you want that engagement that'll come naturally, so you're not constantly paying for engagement. I mean, obviously, if it makes sense, if you're getting more, uh, if if it you know for your return on investment, if it makes sense, then obviously it doesn't matter, but what I would do is, you know, if I'm not getting engagement on an ad, um, it's, it's the same thing. You know, you want to post something that's engagement that, that's engaging that doesn't look like an ad. And, uh, you know, you can build your subscribers that way because then obviously they're going to be commenting more if it's more engaging. So it's just keeping that in mind and, and making sure that you're, you're uh, yeah, that you, that you have a clear, clear set of what you want and that you're, um, you're asking them to comment or you're asking right. them to do whatever. But to get that engagement, that, that, that's going to be there. Awesome. Um, and one question that I just thought of, so for a giveaway type, type bot subscription, do you have like, you don't necessarily have like a long sequence or anything that you have to worry about building out beforehand, right? You just kind of have like the instructions maybe and then like, and then you kind of follow up? Yeah, so you can, uh, like I, I, whenever they opted in, I put them on a new sequence, just kind of have them there, you know, this is my list of whoever got opted in. And like for the t-shirt mm -hmm. giveaway, I... I sent a message when I did the giveaway saying, 
hey, you can, you can check out who the winner is by clicking this link. And it took them to a funnel, which you can buy the t-shirt below. So that was kind of a cool thing that, you know, you can get some sales off of doing that way is bring them to a link to figure out who the winner is. Awesome. Okay, we got another question. Let's see. If anyone has any last minute questions, go ahead and drop them now. Um, Arturo says, how much did your sales increase after that boost of bot subscribers? So, I mean, it all depends on what offers you're, you're sending to the subscribers, obviously. Um, you know, I, I've dabbled with a few, um, with a few broadcasts and every broadcast you make, you know, a couple thousand dollars. So it's, it's, it's good. Cause it's, you know, I already, I already have the subscribers. It's just kind of extra money. That's, that's in my pocket. So um, definitely a That's boost. Awesome. Yeah, definitely a boost in sales. So it's nice. Um, you know, when I first got all these subscribers, I was scared to to send a broadcast. You know, I don't want to annoy these people. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, be in their inbox too often. But you know, I just kind of just said whatever, and I just you know would send broadcasts and make sure that it's you know make sure that it's not too salesmany and it's not going to annoy people. Um, and then, you know, people aren't going to want to subscribe. They're going to want to see your content and, and buy from you or, or whatever it might be. Yeah, absolutely. I know. I think that's kind of one thing that a lot of people struggle with, not just with um, messenger bot marketing, but like email marketing, especially too. It's like, you know, how do I, how do I get my offers in front of them without being like, annoying right yeah exactly and with messenger it's tricky you know it's, it's it's a new thing and people don't really know what to expect so it's you know you got to be cautious but you also got to just kind of get out there and, and try new things and see what works see what doesn't work absolutely and there's just so much opportunity right now with messenger bots like it's just so cool i know so i'm so excited about them yeah exactly <laughs> and why i wanted to bring you on here to share all your secrets mm -hmm. so uh, <laughs> Oh, Cindy says, I hate writing emails. Me too, Cindy. <laughs> um, all right. So I just want to thank you so much, Kaylin, for being on here. And everyone in the audience, go ahead and give Kaylin a big round of applause, a big thank you. And again, if you guys are struggling with, you know, click funnels, if you're struggling with a funnel strategy, or you just want to get it completely offloaded, she is the go-to girl. I'll, we'll drop a link here um, in the comments so that you guys can get in touch with her. All right. All right. Thanks, Nico. And thanks, everybody. All right. Thanks, Kaylin. All right. I'm going to thank you guys. We're going to end the broadcast and then I'll catch up with you guys afterwards in the group. All right. See you guys. Bye.